So, um, this few days actually I was working on a, a small NPM package. Basically, it's for Meteor uh, scaffolding. As in, every time we Meteor create, and it will give you all these three files, and then it doesn't it, it give you auto publish, uh, it's secure, this thing, and then you have to install it and all, all this shit, right? Basically, I think you have been most likely heard of like a uh, human kind of generator, right? They have a, a other thing. So, so I did not actually look on the, at them. So because uh, we are developer, right? We like to reinventing the view. So when we have time, <laughs> we have time. Then we we do it again and again. Even though it's a square view or it's a triangle view, it's for us, right? So yeah. So actually, in, uh, last few weeks, actually, I was working on a, a small package. It's literally stupid, just for me only. But I uh, just want to share share uh, share in here. So actually, the the package is called um, and. Um, yeah, something like that. Uh, can see? It's a material setup. Basically, it just run a few uh, uh, script, not script, I would say, uh, some action to to make you build your first project quicker, quick, slightly quicker, I would say. I, I cannot have, I, I don't have the internet, I mean, like, connection, so uh, it's okay. I, I, basically, I already installed, so, so whenever I, I already global it, of course, so uh, the current machine is one seven four. So what I normal, what I, what the thing, what what this package does is like it has a few commands. I would say it only have five commands um, because it's still it's really naive and simple. So uh, let me go to my package. Uh, okay, I'm in this folder. Uh, ignore this my template first. I will create a new folder because I, I think Meteor is supposed to be really easy to create a new package, uh, create a new project uh, instead of you have to do all these things. So what normally I, I would do is like, um, let me keep being up. Okay, so uh, the first thing is definitely a create. So what what you need to do is like, uh, you need to, uh, if you need to create a new project, okay, let's say we call it new idea. Uh, Okay, ignore that template thing. Uh, it's supposed, not supposed to be there. So what it does is like uh, it will just create the new idea folder, just like your Meteor. Basically, it run Meteor create, but and then it add in two more functions, which is remove the default files, those like uh, actually, uh, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript, and then it will copy your default style. I mean, your default pack, uh, your default folder structure. Uh, I use the default folder set structure as in discover me discovery media book but I believe that is somehow generic enough so so it would have you can see this one can big big right so actually what it would it, what it has is like it has some default uh, default things which like like main you have your main setup and then you have your your router of oh, course I yes. So what you need to do is let's say you if you, you already have this project right so you can you can run this project. Uh, okay you have to go into your project of course. Oops yeah Router is oh sorry I haven't finished my my Okay, second thing is that you need to init the pro your project. 
of course you have to in you have to inside your folder. Um, sorry, not media money. What it does is like it will just copy a, a JSON file, which some look something like this. Can you see? This, uh, this is like what to remove and what to add. So after, you can you can add you can you can default what to remove or default what to add. I add in a few like uh, underscore iron router reactive and account password and some like that. So the next thing is what you need to do is just uh, set up. So basically what it does is it, it will remove all the dependency, pull in all um, like all the dependencies. So now you can run it. Yeah, okay. So that's it. So that is um, like three step like MS create, init, and setup. Basically, if you don't need to touch the default structure, you don't even need to init. You can just set up. It will create. It will automatically copy the init file and run the, the, the init file. But there might be a there might be sometimes that you don't really like the structure that this package gave you because like the structure is like this, right? Um, a client, a collection, a a, a lib. You can see. Okay, I cannot make it bigger. Right? And private, public, and server. So what what you can do is you can provide the create <coughs> command your own templates let's say okay let me delete this one oh yeah i don't have that folder anymore ms um, create then you can have your own template which actually i created um, in here which actually is slightly different but you can have whatever you have you would just copy that blindly whatever you, in this template folder you can keep building on this template folder as, as a template so you can just copy when you create you will just copy everything into it so what it what I have is like I have a, a, a collection it's a library I, yeah I don't know why but uh, they, they might be useful and and the client templates maybe you don't want to call it views you want to call it templates or whatever so what it does is basically create the folder copy all everything you like so my new idea basically is like this. But there are actually other things that inside this uh, there are another two command. Uh, one one is okay, let me use my default one. Uh, I, I delete this folder first. Uh, okay, uh, actually it's this one. Uh, okay, okay, I use my own. This is my default, right? So actually I have this. I have this default. So now let's say I want to create a new view. Normally what I would do is like, okay, I have a new view. I copy the previous view and then I, I create another file, rename it, and then I remove all the code. It's quite stupid, right? So actually what, what you can do is MS view. Basically what it does is like, it will create a view called my new view. So. Oh, okay, I haven't re it, sorry. Let me pull all the packages. Okay. So what, what it does is, it will just create two view, new view, with all the default uh, boilerplates inside here. So actually, if you don't want, just delete those stupid code. And there's another one called MS Collection. Let's say you want the collection to be like called products. Then inside the collection, it will have this product thing. Let's say, okay, let me delete this one. Normally what I do is like I need, um, I need all the methods in it. So I'm so lazy. Right? So, so I have all these uh, product at list and update all the default templates that I have. So if you don't want, I just I just delete, 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 and then it, it's easier for me to like copy the thing, rename it, because I, it, at least it does like 
products correctly and then the capital products and all these like small things. Okay, and uh, I think that's all. But th that's one thing. If you use your own template, let's say my templates, and then you you how how MS View and MS Collection know where to put. So actually what you need to do is like you just need to set up your view path and your collection path to your custom path. So this is my, my, my path because I put it in client view and collection, right? So actually, um, yeah, I think that's it. And there is one more thing maybe, yeah. Okay, let's say if you want to put inside an inner view of views. Let's say you have a view, you know what? You might need to group it, right? So actually there is also um, view call. Let's say you want to put in the folder name, it's a path. So actually when you, if we just create a new folder, then you can just group whatever you want to group. Yeah, I think that's it. You, you of course you can you can you can add in more default um, packages that you want to add in in your in your project. Cool, that's all. Thank you. This is a quick this is a quick and tell. Um, I have a quick question. Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, how, is it possible to integrate this thing into an existing project? Integrating as in, as in to like create a new project. As in the part where you can like easily yes, I believe you new, can new packages and get rid of uh old packages and so, something like that, and also inserting boilerplate code and all. I believe you could because the idea is very simple. What it does is like you just take this MS JSON file, and then whenever you run MS setup, it will just run remove add and. It was just the one we want that basically. So you, you you can do it, but um yeah. I, I actually was thinking that we could I don't know, I, I could maybe I don't have time. Uh to create an extend extendable ecosystem around it, which means like I can I can extend more function for my own use. So man, let's say I, I because I, I, I found out that when we build Meteor, there are a lot of like boilerplate codes I copy everywhere I'm mean, like uh, let's say UI register for helpers uh, router especially a router I would say this one I always can remember is it a template is it a name is it a template layout is it a layout template is it a, is it a main default template what version so I, I, I later might be useful that I will say just MS route give it a name that it give me all this shit so I don't need to That's yeah. just, my question was it doesn't do anything with routing Ah, no. <laughs> so you create new view, it will create yeah, a few at routes the moment, well. Yes, at the moment. Actually, if, uh, I was thinking that if when we create the new view, it should auto have a yeah. new route, right? But actually, it really like doesn't... New, like Rails, I guess Rails, yeah. Yeah, like yeah I think... Product I, yeah, slash, I, think product slash edit or whatever. I think, uh, yeah, I think we should. I mean, I, I think I should. But, but I think uh, some of the other generators have things. It should have, I mean, like, because I, I believe that especially human generated, they are quite uh, sophisticated already. I mean, like, a lot. But if you want to learn how they work, and then you have to, you might need to also put in instruction for your own thing, right? I, 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 I just rather be with it. Because I, I spent quite a few time on this one. So, yeah, I think it's worth, especially, I think one good thing is, like, uh, you learn how to build command line tools using the M NPM package thing, commander. There are a few, there are a few uh, command line tools out there like Optimist, permiss Permissive, something like that. And then it's called Commander. There are a few things. I think so it's. How does this work underneath? Oh. So using those permits, like if you. Actually, so I, or I have it. Is it open source? Yes, it is. So uh, it's under the. I might give up, but uh, yeah, I can just show it quickly. Wait. <coughs> So basically, it it only has one file. I mean, like one file as it uh, really. Oh, actually, I don't know that this one can do like this. <laughs> okay. So basically, what it does is I uh, I have a few function. Let's say you have a a collection function, a view function, a setup, and it and create. I mean, like it's quite easy to build command line tools with this uh, commander package. So yeah, I, I think it and it's open source is on GitHub. So if you want to look it up, it's quite straightforward, I would say. So yeah. Cool. Uh, dot command is to type a command in the console. Sorry. This 
dot command thing is to type a command in the Yes, yes. But you have to uh, you have to prefix this with your MD package name, right? Let's say my my one is MS, right? Yeah. So MS create will do whatever the function is. Uh -huh. So MS init it will do it whatever the init is. So let's say let's say my create, right, is very dumb, right? It will just create a copy and then do some checking. Yeah, this is like and then the init file basically just uh, yeah, copy the init file. So I have a function to copy all the init file. So yeah, just, just some command thing. So it. Are you gonna put this on app Sorry, app uh, This is npm. This no, is npm. Your package. Are you gonna put it on the app Which package? Video setup. No, but this one is a is a npm. It's a command line. It's not a oh, media package. Not a package. Yeah, so. Oh, because I, I need the command line features, right? right. So, cool. No? It's essentially like a set of bash scripts, but in JavaScript. And yes, kind of. Basically, packaging, packaging it to. Yes, basically, you can write it in a bash script, or you just bash, run your script, and then that's all. But uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, when we have time.